Moving to Division Two now, the Defiance Bulldogs enter the Final Four as the favorites to bring home the school's second baseball state crown. The WBL and pole champions taking on Akron's Archbishop Hoban. As expected, Bulldog ace Rob Ziegler gets the start on the mound. Top of the first, Ziegler on first for Adam Schaefer. Right fielder hits a blooper into the outfield. Ziegler trying to go from first to third, beats the throw, and Schaefer moves up to second. Later in the frame, bases loaded for Dom Romero. Takes a look at ball four. That forces in Ziegler, and Defiance grabs the 1-0 lead. WBL champions just getting started. Next batter, Wes Rivers. First baseman yanks the first pitch deep to right, high off of the wall. That's going to clear the bases. Schaefer, Austin Yant, and Romero all cross the plate on the stand-up triple. It's 4-0 Bulldogs. Ziegler working with the lead. Impressive in the second. Man on, strikes out D.H. Brennan Bell. Fifth straight punch out for Ziegler. Bottom the third, Hoban with two on. But the Kentucky Wildcats sign. He hangs up the backwards K on Sean Trexler. Next batter for the Knights, Austin Farber. Slow roller to third. Dom Gentili comes up with a throw, but it's off the mark. That allows Aaron Kane to score. Cuts the defiance lead to 4-1. to one. Move to the bottom of the fourth. Ziegler continue to mow down Knight batters. Ninth strikeout victim of the game. Still 4-1 lead for defiance. Top of the fifth Bulldogs. Man on second. Pinch hitter Drake Jimenez delivers in the pinch. Lining the first pitch he sees into the outfield. Schaefer scores from second. 5-1 lead for Defiance, and that'd be more than enough for Ziegler. He goes the distance, striking out 14 batters. Defiance wins 5-1. Austin Hancock, Joe Keewen, each with two hits for the Bulldogs, but it was the big performance from the big righty. You know, I'll tell you what, Robbie really battled, and, and uh, obviously he's got a pretty good breaking ball. We probably used it more than we needed to, but they have a pretty good hitting team over there, and, and uh, especially at the top of the order. Kane was unbelievable at the top of the order. We were able to get the big outs, and... Not only Robbie Ziegler, but Joe Key went through two big runners out there. They had full count, one out there in the six, and swung at a ball above their head. It would have been bases loaded. So credit our guys and, and Robbie especially. Felt a little bit nervous there in the first inning, uh, as anyone would. But come out, get the, the nerves shaken off, and get it done. Very excited. Uh, not having uh, won a state title since 92. Uh, last time we were at state was 2010. And I don't know if Coach Held's ever been to the state final game. Uh, so it's a great feeling to get here and hopefully get one more get done. I'm going to try to find out as much about all as I can. I'm going to, you know, get on the internet, see some stats, see what they got. Um, and uh, I'm probably ice my arm tonight, get ready, just uh, find out as much as possible. And uh, just try to keep the guys calm and uh, hopefully they'll be uh, backing me up tomorrow. Rivers presumably will be the starter tomorrow as the Bulldogs take on Jonathan Alder, who took out Harrison Central in the first game today. That will be the last game tomorrow night at Huntington Park. Defiance Jonathan Alder for the Division II State Championship. First pitch scheduled around 7 o'clock. We're really excited about.